Hi there. Thank you for swing by. Uh, <clears throat> this is the 2008 Toyota Tacoma. The engine is a one GR FE engine, so which is the six cylinder one. Uh, got a check engine light and have a rough uh, idle right now which is camera cannot see it if you drive you step on the gas you have an engine light blinking on it okay so just this in this case here I would say if you have a car like this don't drive uh, even though you have one car don't drive uh, you can call uber you can rent another car to drive and taking care of the problem before you drive if the engine lights on uh, without blinking then you drive okay but with a blinking engine light do not drive because it is something wrong serious wrong with the engine and if you force it let's say you live a couple blocks from your house that's okay just drive slowly don't force it just you know slow as you can to the destination and turn off and make sure it fixed before you drive okay now let's figure out to see what kind of code it have I plugged my OBD2 already so this is a very cheap OBD2 is about $29.30 depending where you buy uh, some site would be selling for more than $30 but you know this is pretty cheap but it can get you any code Besides, you can go to like auto part to read it for you and you have one of this. All right, it say cylinder number four misfire, okay? So something is wrong with cylinder number four, okay? Something wrong with cylinder number four. So let me erase the code. All right, let's go to do a diagnose to see what kind of problem it have. Let's say that if you look at in front of this, towards the back, how do you know is number four, right? So according to this, cylinder firing order, okay? So passenger side is bank one. Driver side is bank two. So bank one will be having number one, number three, number five. And the bank two will have all the even number is a two four and six so four is on this side so two four six six will be the last one okay four will be the middle one now you can get the number four here just unplug the wire and out okay I'll show you how before I starting to do the diagnose let me tell you how a misfire were happening now if you have a single misfire like this okay it's only four way number one you spot plug number two ignition coil number three fuel injector number four your cylinder is weak okay those four item that will have a misfire or if you go towards a little bit further another way is let's say that number f uh, that cylinder have a crack and it water leak into it so that is another way of misfire also okay now if you have a misfire for all cylinder then that will be something else it could be uh, you know gas is not enough then you have misfire like that you know it, it cannot be a misfire for all cylinder not many time will be misfire for all cylinder unless you have off all, all cylinder weak uh, compression then yes you do have misfire for all cylinder okay so now I will you know not talking just do the work first so if you want to move all of this you can if you don't want it to you don't have to the reason you switching part like this 
is because you don't have a very expensive uh, OBD2 reader to read um, every single sensor that in your car okay so that's what you do this manually to save you a thousand dollars for just the little machine that will you know helping solving this easy problem if you don't have a swivel like this then you can't go through here you have to take out this 12 millimeter on the top to get into the boat down here but if you have a swivel then you can or you have a short socket you can use this small ratchet like this one on here to do it you should be okay okay and I think I'm plug this right here easier to get out the uh, ignition coil okay if if hard take time to pull it they will come off because it's sometimes it stay in there a long time and this is stuck with this bulk plug so what I'm going to do I'm going to swap number four to number two uh, two over here to see if that code is changing if the code changing then I mean the initial core is bad I was t fixing one of the initial core on number four uh, number three on the other side already and now have another code over here so the other one is also a misfire like this and it was ignition coil and uh, hopefully this just ignition coil as well okay I'm gonna take this off unplug that and let me unplug the using this right here to um, take out the uh, <coughs> plug Nation core plug because uh, you can put it tight in space here, and you, you using your finger is not uh, powerful enough to detach the uh, clip. So that's why I'm using my little nose here. Okay, I'm going to use my screwdriver to push the plug, and one is open the clip a second and that will push the plug okay so now the plug will come off kind of tight so you have to remove a lot of stuff to do it but you don't have to uh, you should be able to do it without remove every other stuff okay Okay, now I pop this. So we're gonna put on number four and put that 10 millimeter bolt back in. So after this, I will clear the code. So the code will be reset to zero, and if the code is jumping to number two, uh, number two, then. That means ignition coil is bad, so I just directly to just replace the ignition coil. Okay, now let's plug all of this back up. And then air hose. Alright, go reset and let's crank it up to see the coil is jumping. See, when I swap, now it's a 302, so which is a cylinder mode 2. So that means ignition coil is totally bad. So that's why it jumped the 304 to 302. So when you swap it, uh, cylinder number 4 to cylinder number 2, so now it's gonna jump into number 2. So that means the ignition coil is bad on this. So I'm going to read, uh, replay the ignition coil, and that should solve the problem, okay? I don't have to show how to do it already because I already spent enough time to uh, uh, take out the uh, ignition coil so you already know how to take the ignition coil out so I reset the code and buy a new in ignition coil and then that's it and um, that will solve your problem alright thank you for watching 
uh, don't forget to subscribe um, you know uh, to keep my channel growing um, I hopefully this video will help you saving some money uh, besides taking your car to the dealership they will charge you at least like $150 just for diagnosis and this video should save you on that much money already and Asian core you can buy from online you can buy from auto part and I prefer that you buy from auto part because uh, Ignition coil is going bad all the time so if you buy one of this and in, in case in the future failure again you just go back and replace for free so you know a simple video like this is not simple for uh, some of uh, you that don't know how to work on a car but I think this is simple enough you can follow my instruction to diagnose and to fix your problem and thank you for watching please subscribe bye bye now right there is my buddy that's why I'm making so much noise <laughs>